What is up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computer. So I'm gonna be showing you the UEFI BIOS here on the Asus Prime X470 Pro motherboard. Now this BIOS, BIOS should be pretty familiar if you've used an Asus motherboard in the past few generations on both the AMD and Intel side. They've kept it pretty much the same and it's really easy to use and go through. So when you load into the BIOS here, you're on the easy mode and this gives you you know some information allows you to set a few things um you know right here you don't have to jump into a bunch of menus to do it it's all right here so you know you have your time and your date and all that your language which you can switch easy tuning wizard which will go ahead and allow you to tune your system super easy to do you can actually search throughout the bios and then you have aura uh, you can turn your aura lights on or off so you can completely disable them if you want um, information on the board and your processor and all of that as well as your memory uh, your memory status right here your SATA information you can see we have one drive installed um, easy system tuning again you can do normal uh, quiet performance and all of that boot priority um, if you have more than one boot device will be listed here and then you can easily just like drag and drop these uh, super easy to do um, you can see your fans and what they're running at, uh, your fan curve and your Q fan control, which allows you to set your fan curves for all the fans you have connected to the motherboard headers, which is really nice. You can do it all right in the BIOS here. And then you have your boot menu, um, which allows you to set, of course, you know, what device is going to boot first. Now that is everything that's in the easy mode. I know I went over it very quickly. Oh, we didn't forget, I forgot to do DOCP. This is uh, if you wanna enable your, your profiles on your memory. So we can go ahead and do that and easily enable it right there. Super easy to do. Now, if you wanna get out of advanced mode, uh, you can hit, either hit this or just type F7. So now we're in the advanced mode. Of course, this is for advanced users. It gives you all the options that you want. So the main right here, um, this will you know just give you your you know language and all that kind of stuff and what you're running. Now you do see my favorites over here. Now you can add things to this my favorites. Um, you can put whatever you want here. I love this menu because there are certain things that you want to change all of the time and you want to you don't want to have to jump through different menus to find it um so you can add it to your my favorites menu which is really great and by the way uh on the side here will be your hardware monitor um which is pretty cool so you can see what everything is running in real time over here now your ai tweaker that is where you're going to do all of your overclocking and all of your tuning um so you can see we're set to docp with our memory and all of that you can set your cpu core ratio to whatever you want it's on auto right now everything in, in this bios is on auto currently but you can change all that that's where you do your cpu overclocking um you know your uh voltages are all in here too so you can do it all in this one menu and then you can dive down even deeper into you know your load line calibrations and phase controls and things like that if you really want to get into hardcore overclocking and of course your timing control for your memory you can go in and set as well so it's pretty easy to do um you know do all of that and they're under advanced this is all of your onboard configurations um you know like your cpu configuration your sata configuration onboard devices you know all that stuff so you can enable or disable certain things you know everything that you might want to set up before you go ahead and load windows apm pc subsystem network stack you know all this stuff you can go ahead and set up um you know before you load windows under monitor this is all of our um temperatures and all of our voltages in real time and if say you're running something and you want to ignore it um you know say we'll go to cpu temperature you can set it to ignore it so if you're running super hot or something like that or you're running um you know the mo the things that we really want to ignore would be like our fan speed say you're running like a custom aio and it doesn't detect the fan speed it will pop up every time you load the bio so you can ignore that if you want um, but you have all this stuff right here pretty easy to set up and then you do have the option to go back in a q fan um and set it this way which is cool so you can you can do that um you know and you can configure all of the fans um not in the in the uh gui but just in this kind of list here it's pretty easy to do really easy to set up to set up all your fans before you go even load into windows and this does have an aio pump um 
header. So if you are running an AIO, you can connect it to this header and control it this way. Um, so if your AIO pump does, you know, you want to control it manually instead of PWM mode, you can actually do it this way. Um, you know, if your AIO doesn't have software or something like that, while most do, you can actually control it manually this way, which is actually pretty cool. Under boot, um, you can enable or disable fast boot. You can set up secure boot. You can, of course, do your boot options. And one thing I always like to see is our boot override. So this will list all of your drives and say you wanna install Windows, you can do your boot override first, which means that I can select my flash drive that I have Windows installed on and then go ahead, it will boot to that drive only once and then when it does its restart, when it's installing Windows, it will boot to the normal drive. It just saves you a step and I love seeing it in the BIOS. Under tools, you have Easy Flash 3. That allows you to easily flash the BIOS. I'm pretty sure with this board and with most ASUS boards now, um, you don't even need a CPU installed, I don't think, or memory to do this. Um, so you can, you know, easily flash your BIOS. Uh, you can do it from a flash drive. I believe you can do it from the internet. Yeah, you can do it through the internet as well. So uh, very easy to do. You know, you don't have to mess with Windows BIOS installs and things like that. Um, user profile, SPD information, and graphics card information. So our SPD will, of course, give us our information on our memory, what it's running at, and all of that. And then our graphics card information lets us know, um, you know, what interface, you know, you can actually, I guess you can't select it, but you know, what bus interface we're running at and all of that. And it'll actually show you on like this, you know, graphical interface, like, you know, what each card is running at. So we only have one card installed, but it's running at X16 speeds. It's just cool to see. And if you're ever wondering what your cards are running at, this will show you. And then the last, you know, we can save optimize defaults, we can save changes and reset, um, we can discard our changes and all of that. Um, one thing I do like is that when you do change stuff, so all, you know, the shortcut to change is F10, it lets you know what you've changed. So you can see the stuff that we've changed there. Um, you know, you're going through and you're doing stuff and you, you might not sure, oh, what did I change this time? I'm not sure. You can see it before you save. Uh, that's one thing that I really do like. You know, this BIOS is super easy to use. I'm gonna go back into the easy mode. It's incredibly easy to use. Honestly, if you're just setting your DOCP um, and maybe your fans, uh, you really don't have to go into the advanced mode at all. Um, I know for a lot of people who aren't doing overclocking, that's all they wanna do. And you wanna set, set your boot priority, that's it. Um, you won't have to go in, you know, dive down deeper into this. But even when you do dive down deep, it's very easy to find everything. There's not a setting that I had to go through a bunch of menus to find. And of course you do have that favorites menu, uh, which I'll show you one more time. You know, your favorites over here that you can go ahead and put all the settings that you change all the time, all at once. It's super easy to use. It's it's one of the best BIOSes out there. ASUS has always done a great job. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoy our tech content, go ahead and subscribe. Till next time. Catch you guys later.